All right, just got something in the mail, and I've been slowly buying pieces to complete my kitchen. Uh, things that I've been wanting for a really long time, but you know, there's situations where you can't get everything you want, right? But I think I found something that would get me what I want, specific things that I want, without having to pay the crazy money that it would have taken if I really got that thing, right? So I think this is a great alternative. And I think it's worth it to unbox it and then review it. And I want to do long-term reviews, so let's get it popping. All right. Here it is. Nice. So Tramontina, I've, I've heard of this brand quite a bit. Um, they are not... Uh, top shelf by any means I guess but I don't but they do a wide range of kitchen um, kitchen related goods right so they do Teflon anodized whatever they have cheaper clad products but <clears throat> what I've been looking for is something that's very similar to all clad without paying for all clad so let me give you an example all right so here they are so I've been slowly accumulating pieces, right? So you, in other videos, I've talked about the the power of home goods and Marshalls, and believe it or not, these I got from these all clad pans, eight inch and a ten inch. I got from uh, Marshalls as a combo set, and in this one, I actually won a bid on eBay, super cheap. So like. I think I really wanted this dome lid too, or particular metal lids. I eventually I want to get lids for these guys. But uh, you know, this is awesome for cooking uh, pastas and whatever without being in a giant like pot. I have I don't have any pots. I just started focusing on the basics, these guys, and then um, uh, pots and saucepans and stuff. They don't have to be great quality, but one of the things I really wanted was full clad stainless cookware all right so anyone who's not um aware what clad is so you'll see something like uh you'll see so see check out this logo here you see those waves so the way that these pans are made there's a stainless upper and typically all clad has a stainless bottom this is a different type of all clad and they have an um, aluminum center piece what that does is it gives you the ability to cook and clean and the, the durability of stainless, but aluminum will heat better. So when sanders to get your best boat world, the problem is that a fully clad pan, sauce pot, uh, whatever, is very expensive. For instance, um, a 10 inch all clad stainless, this guy retail probably, yeah, probably $200, but this is their MC master chef uh series so it's more affordable you can see how it has an, a brushed aluminum bottom when it should be or when it typically is stainless inside and out so here's a stainless and you see here bottom is stainless this is amazing the, the thing about these is unlike teflon these can get super hot and what's great about it when you look for pans look for something with a metal lid and handle so then um metal lid like this handles so you can finish uh chicken steaks whatever you pop this in the oven a lot of times you might have find a clad plant pan but then they have rubberized bits here not not good for the oven and i wanted to really step up my cooking and i and i realized that the pros use fully clad um, maybe not in like high volume kitchens but uh you know when it comes to really good quality stuff clad is the way to go so you want that clad and it's got to be good stainless and then there's a lot of other small things like for instance like riveted handles here uh the, unlike screws i'm sure we've all cooked with uh, cheaper pots and pans that had screws in it and it's like flimsy these shouldn't ever go flimsy same with the lid fully steel there's rivets it's amazing Again, buy for life. You buy it one time, you know, it's going to last you forever or it should. This came in a set. I got really lucky. And then um, I think retail, even though this is the cheaper line, um, it, 
I would say more affordable line doesn't mean that it's worse quality because being an aluminum uh, outer layer actually heats up quicker than the more expensive D3, D5 pants. So that's really cool. I bought them as a set for, I want to say like less than 100 for both. And again, Marshalls, what's good? The homie. All right. Now, the, the plan was find the 10 inch pan, 8 inch pan's great, 12 inch pan with lids, um, have a, have a, 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 like, I think these are, I forgot the name of these types of pans, but you see how there's, it, it's not curved as there's like a lip here. And then, so this is great for braising something, something you don't have to flip a lot. These ends here, there's this like great, there's this, there does, isn't this giant break between the bottom of the pan to the wall. So then you could flip, you can be flipping stuff easier. This one, it's not like that. You're not here to flip this one more, you know, can uh, braise things and simmer things down and stuff like that. I do this for instant pastas and stuff like that for recently, but it would be great to put a roast in here or something small. You can even roast a chicken and stuff, put it in the oven, pop in. So there are, there are very small little details that we need to look out for to make our cooking a little bit better. Now check this out. Where does Tramontina come in? Whoo, let's take a look. 14 piece cookware set tri ply clad okay i'm gonna i'm gonna try to have put a picture here in the video but you might see something where particularly pots because then they, they can get away with being a little bit cheaper because you don't use pots as much as you would use a frying pan and so this is fully clad from top to bottom is clad but you'll see cheaper, more affordable clad pieces where it looks like it's, there's like a welded plate on the bottom. That's clad. But then the rest would be like just one piece metal. So what does that mean? It means when you cook, there'll be a different temperature here versus here. So this might burn faster. You can see this, you know, I don't worry about this. I just was testing it out. I wanted to see how hot I can get it. So I'll clean that later. But this will be clad. There'll be a massive temperature shift here. It might, it might, it just, it's not ideal. Okay. And it, it can separate. It's not one piece, stuff like that. So Tramontina also has those. They have, they have Teflon, but they also have welded bottom triplies. But then I was able to find full triply cook set. So essentially all clad stuff, fully clad, stainless upper and lower. So even better than the uh, master, master chef versions that I have and it has a lot of pots and pans. The only thing is with the problem with sets is they, uh, there'll be redundancies or there'll be pans that you don't really need. For instance, this doesn't come with a 12 inch frying pan. So, uh, it's good and bad. It's, I wish I had a 12 inch frying pan, but luckily I haven't ha needed a 12 inch 10 inch has been fine. I have a 12 inch cast iron and that's been working great, but it gives me an eight and 10, which I have. So I can, I've been thinking about gifting them or uh, uh, selling them on eBay or whatever, just try to recoup some costs. But $199 for this whole thing through Costco. Uh, I think the next cheap is on Amazon for like $200 something, close to $300. I would get a Costco membership just to get these pants. The, it's better to get them through Costco too because, you know, return policies create all that stuff. And so you never know. But $199 for 14 pieces that are fully clad. Yo, come on. I had to try it. Okay. Maybe eventually I upgrade everything to all clad just for the, just for the clout. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I'm excited for this. Okay. So let's get it. Okay. We'll crack in. All right, I'm excited. Let's go. Okay. Looks like there's a shit ton of packaging, so we'll do it piece by piece here. Whoa. Recycle like that. Okay. Wow. This is so sick. I'm excited. Y'all excited? I'm excited. 
first piece. Let's take a look. Yeah, Travertina Premium Stainless Steel Tri Ply Clad, made in Brazil. So apparently there's Chinese versions and Brazilian versions. And apparently the Brazilian version's better. It's a 1.5 quart uh, uh, saucepan. What's awesome? What I here's the thing about the the thing is steel lids. Steel lids means that it can really take up. Um, uh, it can handle itself under extreme temperatures. Glass is great because you can see inside, but so, I don't know. Sometimes, um, I guess, I don't know about this guy, but sometimes you want, you want to be able to go into the oven and stuff like that. Check this out. A few things I'm noticing right away is like just how well these lids fit. That's awesome. It's a brush stainless lid with a, with the polished stainless um, handle. It's riveted and it's set. It sits really nice here. Something that the all clads don't have is it has indicators for the quartz. So you know how much you're putting in. That's cool. Good heavy handle. Riveted handles. Stainless inside, outside. That's so cool. The, the word, why is this have all the goods but it's cheaper than an all clad? Now here's where it starts to break down. First of all, the handle. It's really nice, but one of the things about all clads handles is there's a groove here so when you're trying to pour something out my thumb can fit here and it won't like like either lose control or whatever so when i'm here i'm completely in control the the problem that i already see with this tramontina is that the handle is rounded there's no relief for your fingers so if i was holding onto something really hot or with a glove I can totally see myself pouring, 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 and it, it might just reset in my hand. So there's a there's an issue with that. It's not an issue per se. It's more of a like a feature that you lack by going to the uh, cheaper version. But again, I'm not complaining. This is sick. This is awesome. Another thing I'd like to point out is uh, rolled lips. You see how the top stainless here is rolled here. Although the aluminum is exposed, I can see, uh, so the stainless is going to be outside, stainless is going to be inside, but the inside will be aluminum. I could see on this lip some aluminum, I believe, if I'm assuming that's aluminum. There might be pitting issues in the, in the future, so uh, I'm not sure if they're dishwasher safe, but you know, I like to hand wash everything anyway. So the, the, the thing I'm going to try to do my best job on is cleaning this right away and not letting water just sit here on this lip. So I'm going to like not letting it sit like this drying and then the water accumulates and might cause pitting. I'm going to dry this off and usually what I do is I, I put a burner on and I just set it on burner just to get it hot, warm so it evaporates quicker. So that's a little thing that I do. So first 1.5 quart saucepan something I didn't have already. So this is awesome. I'm so stoked. All right. Okay. This feels like Christmas show. Whew. We got the bigger brother, two quart saucepan, sick. This is awesome. Keep gravies warm in here. Warm up a can of soup in this guy. Oof, so sick. Is there a lid? Let's see. I love lids. Lids just make uh, the cooking equipment just so much more versatile. Whew, okay, I see you. Okay. So we got a three quarter. Nice. I'm just impressed with like the finish here and like it looks so nice. Nicely laser etching it looks like. The internal measuring. Very nice. It's so sick. And then one of the things I'm taking away is heavy. It's heavy. So in cookware like you can't beat the weight. So this is really good. Heavy like this means that it can um, hold um, temperature better. So when you're putting in different ingredients, cold ingredients in particular, it not it it won't break the temperature as much, and it'll, it'll help 
actually recover better too. So it is worth it to get heavier things. Okay. Just put this to the side. Oof, I see you. I see you. Okay. Here we go. I'm assuming that this is a 10 inch. Yeah, this looks like a 10 inch saute pan. Whew. And similar to this, this is my all clads. Oh, it must be smaller. I believe this is a, a, an 11 incher. So it makes sense. Actually, let me compare this to my 10 inch. Yeah. But it looks really nice. It looks really nice. I'm excited about this one. Again, like the exposed uh, pan here. You, it feels like you can see the layers. Yeah. So I'll keep an eye on, on that one. But man, $199. I mean, this 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 guy alone with the lid is 240 retail what so you get all this come on all right let's keep it going Oof. i'm getting excited oh i see a lid all right let's see this list okay so eight inch saute pan that must have been the Eight incher. Here, let me compare to this eight inch guy. No, this is this is an eight inch um, frying pan. So we're gonna get an eight inch saute pan. So that's saute pan. I'm not sure which is if it's eight or ten. We already got the one point five quart, the two quart, the three quart. So they're all covered. So we're gonna have lids for each covered deep saute pan, three quart. Five quart covered Dutch oven, eight quart covered stock pot, fire, Bedia with this one. <laughs> you feel me? So, um, all right, let's go. All right, y'all know how I feel about lids. So, the way that this lid shipped, it looks like it's for a um, stock pot, or what they call it, a saucepan. Possibly for the Dutch oven. Let's see. let's hold off on that. Whoo! What's good? Actually, I'm gonna save this because I don't know if I'll keep this. Nice. So this is gonna be the eight-inch saute pan. An interesting call, saute pan. Uh, nice, very nice. What's cool about here, we see the rolled bit here, not as drastic as, um, or as not as smoothed out and wide of a lip here as the all clad. It's interesting, it's got a hard curve here. It's gonna be fun to cook in. Very nice, stoked. Would love to try this that away okay let's see this here we go here we go 10 inch saute pan mm. very cool oh so pretty awesome More lakes. Tiny. Sheesh. So these two lids are exactly the same, so I can interchange them when I'm cooking. Awesome. The holy grail would have been getting a lid for the um, the saute pans here. 
Nice. I think this is mixing. Man. Pow. Whoo. Set complete. Awesome. Hell yeah. Big boy time. This must be the eight quart. Eight quart stock pot. Damn. Imagine cooking a Sunday gravy in that. Yo, is that offensive? I said gravy. I hear that on TV. I've never made one, but I want to. What do I call it, guys? What's up? This is amazing. Really good quality. Feels heavy. Is heavy. So sweet. All right. Maybe this one. What's up, dude? So sick. What's great about this is when I'm warming this up, I can put some like tortillas or something on here and just warm them up. Fire, dude. What the fuck? Okay. More lids. That's what I'm talking about. Sheesh. This is so cool. I'm curious, will this fit my 10 inch pan? Mm. Doesn't fit it, but uh, could work. Okay. This is a Dutch oven. That's what I call it. Dutch oven. Steph said, save the bubble wrap for her packages. I'm like, hell yeah. Oof, almost dropped that. All right, so let's lay this out. Dutch oven. So, this is really nice. You can make a roast in here. Very nice. How many quarts? So, five quarts. So, I have a, I have a Staub Dutch oven that I've been using. I can pull that out. You might have seen it in some other videos. So, so this is a, call it a La Coquette. It's a French company, Staub, and they're enameled cast iron. I love this thing. It's so nice. Um, it's shaped so you can fit a full bird in here. Um, but I've used it for, you know, making, like, cooking pasta, simmering the sauce down. But um, it's a little too serious of a job but it's awesome it's so gorgeous it's gonna last me forever i love that part but this guy can be a good addition to the kitchen uh the issue with the oval shaped dutch is that Let's pretend we're on the we're on the heat here, right? See how it's oval? It means that the fire will go through here, and so you can visibly see uh, the water boiling in where right above the fire, but off the corners it's not. So sometimes it's really nice to have hot zones and cold zones, and I can put like meat or right on the edge, or it shouldn't be under hard boil. Um, or but then when it comes to pasta, you want the consistent heat everywhere so a round dutch oven is going to provide that for me so that's going to be really sweet sick sick very nice this is so sweet look how nice it is all right what else we got this one 
this over here. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. So there it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 piece fully clad, triple ply, stainless with aluminum in the inside, full cookware set. You know, um, I've been trying to piece things together. I have cast iron. I got uh, enamel cast iron uh, Dutch oven. I now have a stainless Dutch oven. I have a stock pot now. Some, these are the things I never, I haven't had. I have an eight inch frying pan, 10 inch frying pan and a saute pan um, with a lid. So one, two, three are redundancies. This is one of the issues with buying a set, but uh, one, one and a half quart saucepan, two, three, five quart, eight quart. All this are new to the kitchen. I'm really excited to have that. Um, what's really cool about this is that um, this little sauce uh, pan. One of the uh, one of the things about these are you want to get a real sauce pan that's stainless and everything like that. Sometimes um, in an empty pot, the handle I've noticed some that are so heavy and robust that on the on this grill here it will tip over. But I'm leaning it this way and it falls right down. So. The weight of the pot really helps with that, and that's really nice because um, that's mad annoying. You have you have an empty pot, and then like it's dipping down, touching something, but it's all stainless, so it shouldn't really matter. But if you had a little bit of food in here, and you're just walking away, and you don't realize it's like off the burner, like crazy. So there it is. I will. I'm excited to cook with these. Um, I think they're a great alternative all clad. I think you guys should go to Costco to get them. Like. Um, one of the craziest things is if you go to Kirkland brand all clad cookware, they do have a stainless all clad fully metal uh, Kirkland brand kitchen set. But the thing is, I think they're rated for like 350 degrees, 400 degrees, something like that. So you wouldn't really be able to broil things in those pans. You wouldn't be able to do um, a lot of things. Whereas these guys are rated 500 degrees. I think all clads are rated at 600 degrees. But the 500 degrees and the fact that they're all steel, all metal, means that you can finish things in the oven and you can uh, really get it hot, really, really hot. And it won't be able to handle that. So I think this is better than the Kirkland brand one. You're getting a lot of great stuff. The fact that I have redundancies here is great. I, I wish I should have bought this in the very beginning. I was holding off, but I should have bought this in the very beginning. Once I learned more about pots and pans, I realized that, man, I should have got this. And then taking my time finding um grail all clad pieces you know but uh it, i'm not tripping like it's always good to have multiple pans you know um but i'm really looking forward to sharing this and having other people try it too i i, I have limited space here in the apartment um so i probably won't keep these but um they're sick this is a great set from zero to 100 real quick really high quality uh, uh cookware uh, none of that Teflon shit. You know what I'm saying? Like Teflon pans are good. I have some t files uh, but they only last one or two years. Like if you get a scratch on a finish, you might as well. It compromises the whole pan. It's it, it it releases cancerous material. It's really really apparently really bad. They like the people who started the Teflon thing like lost a lawsuit or it was that bad or something like that. So apparently modern Teflon is really good or better, but you know Teflon is great for eggs this would be really good for getting a hard sear on things finishing pastas um, simmering stocks all that stuff so this is this is i'm really excited so i'll still be looking out for my all clads 
but this is an amazing set. Look at this beauty. It's so cool. Wow. Ah, that's so sick, right? So, all right, um, I'm gonna cook with this and hopefully I can do a review later.